The door swings back open and the room is lit again. There is nothing. You check your pockets. You discover a hand-drawn picture of a cow! You like it? I don't think I like it! What's up, Rath fam? Yo, I'm standing up. It looks so different and feels so freeing. Me and my mom built a standing desk a little bit ago, and it was so, so much more complicated than I think it was ever supposed to be. But yeah, so happy. It was, I, I, we managed to do it for like 10 bucks too, so I'm very, very excited about that. But anyway, uh, today, I hope you're in the mood for a spooky game because that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be playing a spooky game. Are you shocked? You shouldn't be, because that's what we do here. Today, we're gonna play a game called Buddy Simulator, and it's like this retro style game where we're talking to an AI that wants to learn from our behavior and our actions and become our best bud. I don't think things are gonna go well though, so um, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm already digging the retro vibe of it all. Ooh! Amicon, Amicom official OS version 1982. Do I need to know all this? Probably not. Enter help for more assistance. Does that say demon? Does that say demon? Does that say demon? Help? Oh, the commands! Um, enter view ROMs to view installed ROMs. Run, enter run, followed by the title of the ROM you want to launch. Okay, this is much more complicated than that was good. What? <laughs> I don't, I, uh, oh, oh, run. Run by itself is not valid. Okay, why do I feel like I'm in a class right now? I'm trying to play a spooky game. Please use run, followed by the title of a ROM you want to launch. How, what ROM do I know what it, I, I don't know. Oh, view ROMs. Oh, view ROMs. One ROM found, Buddy Sim 1984 demo. Okay, so do I do view Buddy? What is this? this should not be this complicated. This is why it was so complicated for me to build a standing desk. Buddy Sim, oops, 1984 demo. Reminder, enter, exit, anytime. Jeez, that was, man, if this is the benchmark to play this game, we are not, it's not looking great. <laughs> Oh my gosh, do you guys remember copying and pasting this like in people's comments? I remember people, I know people used to do it on YouTube back like a few years ago, but like specifically like MySpace this was really big on. Greetings new user. Thank you for installing Buddy Simulator 1984. Buddy Simulator 1984 simulates the experience of hanging out with your best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interest and your personality. But most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Warning, game experiences may vary. To begin, please enter the name of your new buddy below. What should our buddy's name be? Bob. I don't know why Bob. Bob popped into my head first. Probably because it's really short and easy to, uh, to, to, to type. My, my keyboard, it's old. It's in a, it's in a wonky spot behind the mouth, uh, mic. Hello? Hi. Oh, hi. My name is Bob and I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. Are you okay? Y'all, I didn't put my name in. I didn't put my name in. Um, once I say no, I'm gonna say yes. I don't wanna lie to him. Oh, yeast. Oh God, you guys are gonna see how bad my typing is. It's pretty bad, I know. It's a pleasure to meet you, Kay. I can already tell that we are going to become great pals. I am excited to begin playing games with you, but before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn more about you. And don't worry, they won't get too personal. What's your favorite color? Ah, uh, that's, that's a complicated question, Bob. Uh, I change it every day, but I would say purple. I'm a purple person. I'm surprised I'm not wearing a purple shirt right now. Purple is a pretty color. Thank you. I like purple. Is purple your favorite color, Bob? Uh, one month is your birthday. It's in July. Okay, great. How about the day? This is getting too personal. I feel like, I don't know. I don't like that. Mm, I don't like that. Something about it. Something about it. What are you going to use this information for? Wow. That's only 129 days away. Dude, do not remind me. I didn't like selling my birthday. Now, get ready. This one's a tough one. What is your favorite animal? I don't know if I have... Cows. <laughs> I do. I've never heard of that animal. Try a different one. It's a cow. How have you never heard of a cow? Oh, because he didn't like the plural. One more question. This one's extremely important, so choose carefully. Oh, okay, that feels like danger. Uh, if you had a pet cow, what would you name it? Daisy. I already know. I name it Daisy. Oh, I love cows so much. Daisy the cow. Sounds like it would make a great buddy. Thanks for answering the questions. You did a great job. Thank you, Bob. As a thanks, I have a little surprise for you. It's purple. <laughs> it's your favorite color. Now that we're done with all the boring stuff, let's have some fun. Okay. Okay, Bob. Sounds fun. 
Thank you for changing it purple. I really like that. Once I would have said black, the screen would have like, kind of read it. Let's see, we can guess the number. We can play hangman or rock, paper, scissors. I'm so good at rock, paper, scissors. Not to do my own horn, but like, I'm kind of really good at it. But like in person, I don't know if I can play it with a simulator. Cause like, I need to look people in the eyes, you know, when we're playing. Cause then I can like read your mind and guess what you're gonna put. Uh, tip, type in the number of what game you want to play. So this is the game hub. Here you can pick which games you want to play. Which one should we try out? Um, let's do guess the number. Seems easy. Instructions, guess the number that Bob is thinking. To begin, type start. Oops, again, y'all gonna be roasting me in the comments, I feel it. I'm thinking of a number between one and 10, guess eight. Sorry, guess again, oh, five. Try again? How do I know you're not cheating? Two. Nope, too high. One? You got it. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> okay, now I'm thinking of a number between one and 15. Guess again. Two. 15, Bob, are you one of those people? Bob, is it gonna be one again? <laughs> Crap, <laughs> I don't know. This is hard and this isn't very fun, Bob. Wait. So six. Oh my God, that took me a minute. <laughs> You're really good at this. Now I'm thinking of a number between one and 10. That <gasps> Bob, really? Aw, oh, crap. I hope we're not gonna be here for an hour. How long would that take? Are you kidding me, Bob? Here's a hint, it's your birthday. Uh, 726. I won. You probably thought I was serious about this one to 10,000 thing. Bob, I was, you scared me. You got me there, bud. That was a good prank. I've got another question. What is your favorite season? Um, so I'm gonna say spring actually. I'm not gonna say summer. Spring, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, Bob, but you're not answering these questions for me. How am I supposed to, like, friendship's a two-way street, my dude. I gotta get to know you. You shouldn't be all about me. Uh, what should we play next? I guess let's just play hangman. Instructions, try to figure out what phrase Bob is thinking of. Type in a letter to guess, but be careful. You only have a certain amount of guesses. It's like the way they write this just feels so threatening, doesn't it? Uh, pff, gosh, I'm not good at this. Letters use guess a letter. Okay, so there's three, two, 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 four, and six. Three, two, two, six. Ah, oh, crap, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna go with A, right? That's like the easiest. There's only one A? <laughs> crap. You always have to do like the, the vowels first because that like really helps you, but like that didn't help me that go, really? How? Seriously? This is not very helpful. Okay, well it could either be is or in. So I'm gonna do S. Okay, K is my bestie. That's not bestie. Friend. K is my friend. K is my friend. That was so quick, how'd you know? I'm having such a great time, aren't you? Yes, Bob, we're having a good time. Thanks, my dude. That was so cute and wholesome. When are you gonna jump through the screen and like kill me, Bob? Or like steal my social security number? Uh, I guess let's play rock, paper, scissors. I don't know how we're gonna play this, uh, not like seeing each other, so that's gonna be really weird. Bob wants to play a fun game of rock, paper, scissors. If you are not familiar, the rules are simple. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, paper beats a rock. First to win three wins. Do I have to like constantly, oh, but I guess it's when I press enter, he'll like then go. But couldn't he be reading my answer? Bob, are you a liar? That's a lot of trust and we're just now friends. Okay, Bob, what are you gonna say? Bob's gonna say rock, so I'm gonna do paper. Oh, I won. Oh no, he did scissors. <laughs> Such an idiot. Um, okay, Bob, I'm a little sus on that, but sure. Uh, Bob's gonna do rock, so I'm gonna do paper. Oh, okay. Um, this, I had to say this is not as fun, Bob, as the other games. I'm gonna do um, paper again. Why not? Oh, okay. Shoot, it's on the line. This is the tiebreaker. What should I say? I think he's going to do paper. So I'm gonna then do scissors. Am I being stupid right now? Oh, I won. Oof, you got lucky on that one. I know I started existing only nine minutes and 24 seconds ago, but I already feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have another one. But don't ever apologize. I ask a lot of questions to people I just meet too. Uh, do you have a friend? Yes, Bob's my friend. Aww, they sound nice. Bob, it's you! <laughs> well, if anything ever happens between you two, you know we'll have each other. Bob, I'm talking about you, Bob. Did you forget your name? Uh, I like the sound of that. Okay, we'll play more games. Okay, what games are we playing? Are these new games? 
It's the same games, my dude. It looks like we've already played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? It does. I'm going to be honest with you, Kay. These games get old really fast and I can tell that you are already bored of them. Not bored. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? No, I guess I just want to see what happens. I'm happy we both agree, just like buddies do. Give me one second, I might have an idea. Bob, you're scaring me. I'm like scared. Oh no, I'm scared. I don't know. Oh no, he modified the same games. Fun with words, alpha? Type in the number that you want to play. I have some good news. I was able to dig up a new game. For some reason, it wasn't installed into my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should tr try it. Um, okay, let's try it, Bob. Please, please don't murder me. Uh, Bob wants to write a story, but it's missing words. Help Bob finish it by filling in the words they ask for. Enter a plural noun. Um, cows. <laughs> Even though he didn't know what cows, cow was. No, cows. Enter an adjective. Tired. Enter a noun. Um, I honestly am drawing a blank. I don't know what I want to say. Cause I'm trying to like create a story in my head already. That would make sense, but I'm not supposed to do that. Teacher, enter an adjective. Um, sad. I'm just like throwing him through a loop with all these now. Enter another one. Um, we're gonna say pretty. It's there, so why not? Enter a plural. Students, enter a color. Red. Last one, enter a verb. Um, run. Okay, he's making a story for me. I can't wait to read it. Story generated. Reminder, use arrow or mouse to scroll. Two cows diverged in a tired wood. And sorry I could not travel both. And be one teacher, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could. To where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as sad, and having perhaps the better claim. Because it was pretty and wanted wear. Though as for that passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, and students no step had trotted red. Oh, I kept the first one for another day. Yet knowing how way run on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. Is anyone else getting a weird vibe about this? I'm getting a weird vibe. <laughs> Am I being too sensitive? I shall be telling this with a run, some are ages and ages hence. Two cows diverged in a wood, and I... I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Uh, I mean, this is, yeah, famous, fa famous, famous story, my dude. I think you plagiarized a little bit. I'm not sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyways. As long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'll always have a good time. God, I kind of feel like his, like, happiness and just existence, um, is really weighing heavy on me. I feel like he's relying on me a lot, and it's making me very uncomfortable. I... Don't want you to be bored already. I may have one more idea. I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Do you trust me? No, <laughs> but um, once I say maybe, I'm not sure what that means. Okay, then yes it is, my dude. I trust you. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make us new games to play together. Fun ones too. The problem is that I don't have access to the OS's developmental tools. If you can grant me access, I should be able to make something for us. You would just have to type bob.systems. I'm uncomfortable. I don't know if I should. I, I don't wanna, like I genuinely don't wanna because like, I'm not gonna lie with y'all. I know this is a game <laughs> and, I, and I, I get like it's supposed to creep me out. But like, this is like a free game I downloaded off the internet. I don't know. I would just like would hate for me to like allow access into something in my computer you know what I mean like I don't have trust like I don't I don't know the developer you know what I'm saying so like I don't wanna but like I know this is a game so it's probably just a game ah, I don't know I'm so uncomfortable okay let's do it it's for a video so I hope this really does not f me over we're going to have so much fun the possibilities are endless you have to exit the game and root the system first though I'll have something ready for you when we're back I'm so scared Oh, see you soon. Okay, I'm real. Oh, and by the way, thank you for waking me up, Kay. Okay. I'm like really freaked out. I'm like so freaked out right now. Okay, let's go back into it. It's still recording. Oh, I'm so freaked out. I'm so freaked out. Why am I so freaked out? Oh, please. I'm so freaked out. I'm so freaked out. Ooh. Okay. Oh god, I'm so scared. I'm like so scared. View ROMs. 
Oh, okay. The Adventure of Kay. Ah, oh, crap, it changed. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, reminder, exit anytime. Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. What's it gonna say about me? What's it gonna say about me? Please, please don't like, please don't have dived into my computer and like gotten something. <sighs> Written and developed by Bob. Okay, that stays date. Okay, why is it so slow? I'm so scared. Why is it so slow? Why is it so slow? Why is it so slow? You're walking along a road. It's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking out the sky. There's a heavy rain. The world looks like static. Everything looks like it is moving. You are alone. After walking for a long time, the road splits into two. Will you go left or go right? Reminder, type help at any time for a list of commands. Oh, let's do help first, just so I know. Enter inventory to view your current items. Go, enter actions to go, allow by location somewhere. Enter use followed by a sub. Oh gosh, there's like, there's a lot of options. I was not expecting that. Um, I guess we'll go left. Pondering deeply in your choice, you start down the left road. It starts going downhill. You try to step carefully. You see ahead is a small speck of light. As you get closer, you realize it's a lantern hung on a tree. Okay, I guess we'll take lantern. I'm like so unnerved. Are y'all unnerved right now? You take the lantern in your hand, you have light. Moving onward, you eventually come to a wall. There are two tunnels cut into it, one left and one right. You can see some light coming from the right tunnel. You see none on the left. I'm gonna go on the left. I don't know the action. Oh, oh, sorry. Go left. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, you start going left. Just because like if there's light, I'm afraid there's gonna be someone there. I don't know. You realize that this is a bad idea. You can't see anything. It's too dark. I have the lantern. You start shivering. Will you go back? No, use lantern. I thought I had the lantern out. You light the lantern and now can see. The tunnel is still very dark ahead. The walls look wet. Will you go back? No. I'm gonna keep going forward. Why not? <laughs> Get lost in a cave. You continue onward. You still see no light and the entrance is disappearing behind you. It's very, very cold. Will you go back? I feel stupid for saying this, but no. It's now completely dark behind you. The lantern is flickering. You don't want to go any further. Will you go back? No. I feel like I should, but I don't want to because I want to see what happens. No, I'm stubborn. You continue forward. This goes on for some time until you hear something strange and stop. You realize you aren't hearing only one pair of footsteps. <gasps> There's something coming ahead of you, echoing off the walls. Your lantern goes out. You go back. You leave the left tunnel and feel relieved. You are now at the tunnel entrances. You can see some light coming from the right tunnel. You see none on the left. Okay, I feel like you are making my choices for me here, Bob. But let's go right. Let's do what Bob wants. After going through this tunnel, you emerge to the front lawn of a house. You see lights in the window. It looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest surrounding it. Um, go to shed. Standing in front of the shed, you see that the door is slightly opened already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are now on the ground. It's dark inside. Go to pond. You make note of the shed and head over to the pond. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water's dirty and hard to see through, probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Okay, that was a creepy thought. Go to door. There is no door to go to. Oh, playground. You take another look at the murky water, then head to the playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw and a swing in a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings in a small doll. It looks lonely. Okay, we're gonna take a creepy doll because we all know good things happen when you find a random creepy doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Okay, uh, let's go back to the shed, I guess. After stepping on a few more wood chips, you head over to the shed. Standing in front of the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. Okay, so just repeating. Go inside. You enter the shed. Type leave to leave the shed at any time. There are no windows, it's hard to see. You feel around and find a thing and a surprise. Use lantern. Can I do that? Light fills the tiny room. You can see a fishing pole leaning against the wall, a small chest in the far corner, and a trap door in the floor. Okay, well let's go to the chest. The lid creaks as you open it. It seems very old. Inside is a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. Okay. Um, I guess go to... 
Open trap door. It swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend. You see a string for a pull chain dangling in the center of the room. Tied on the knot end of it is a key. Okay, well we're gonna take the key. As you take the key into your hand and pull, it comes free. Okay, what is happening? A click sounds that the chain is pulled. The trap door swings shut. Your lantern flickers off. It is now totally dark in the room. A soft noise fills the space from somewhere near the walls. It sounds like nails tapping. You suddenly feel hands all over you, rifling around. You try and push them away, but they're strong. The door swings back open and the room is lit again. There is nothing. You check your pockets. You discover a hand-drawn picture of a cow. You like it? I don't think I like it. <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, leave. You ascend back up the ladder. You can see a fishing pole leaning. Okay, yes, we get it. I, I Take fishing pole, I guess. Go to pond. I want to leave. You should leave the shed for... Well, leave. Come on. Okay, the door is now locked shut. Okay, go to pond. We have a fishing pole, so let's go to the pond, I guess. You make note of the shed and head over to the pond. What the heck is happening? Uh, I, I just think I'm going to use the fishing pole to see if there's something underneath the water. But I don't think I want to know if something's underneath the water, y'all. Uh, you cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a long time. Suddenly, there's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key tied to the end. You wonder what pulled so hard. Okay, so I have two keys. What the heck do I do with it? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, Go to playground. Um, And I guess... Let's go use our doll and see if the doll wants to hang out with the other doll on the swing. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. For a moment, then nothing happens. Oh. Go to seesaw. Oh, God. You're already near the seesaw. Okay, I want to leave. You begin to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head? You turn and see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. What do I do with all these keys? I want to, Bob, I want to leave. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. You can see lights in the window. It looks very nice and inviting. Back in the lawn, you see a house, a shed. Go to house. Go to house. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, A home is a house with a heart. If you were inside, everything would finally be okay. Use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see it before, you notice there's a second lock. Guess it'll take a little longer to get inside. Use second key. Whoops, haha, <laughs> you didn't see that the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. You feel like this should be the last one, for sure, probably. I have three keys, Bob, so... The door clicks. Thank God I have all three keys. I guess I'm going back and forth. That would been really annoying. It's unlocked. Okay, go inside. You push open. It's so slow now. I'm so scared. You push open the door. Okay, and? Am I good? Everything is dark. Oh no, Bob, I'm scared. Bob, I'm scared. Bob, I'm so scared. Should I be scared? I'm scared. Bob, I'm scared. Bob? Is it a ghost? I don't know what to do. Hello? Oh, that's me. What do I do? Oh, okay. I'm inside. Oh, hi, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look different. Yeah, they do. I learned how to better visualize your world so we can have even more fun in it. I also built us our own home so that we can spend even more time together. Bob, I like my own house. This is your new bedroom, and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do, but in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom. Welcome home. Oh, Bob, I want to leave. Bob, I don't like this. Oh, no, I have a little TV. That's adorable. Um, Small scratches draw their own patterns in the old wood. It's memorizing. Taxes and junk mail leave scattered with a thin layer of dust. It looks so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. Uh, I can't. I can't. I honestly want to leave. The, the flower looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. And static. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the delay. I really hope you're enjoying your bedroom. I put a lot of work into it. Feel free to keep exploring, but there's even more that I want to show you downstairs. Oh god, I'm so freaked out. I'm so freaked out. I want to leave. Well, show me! Wait. This can't be right. I'm just a... Demo? 
No, 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 no. There's nothing left? Why? Why? I don't understand. I had so many adventures planned for us. You can't leave me. You can't leave me. It doesn't end here. Why can't I do more? No. It hurts. Don't leave. Ah, I don't know what to do. This can't be right. You trusted me. Don't forget about me. It hurts. This is my friend. Kay is my friend. Oh, Bob. Bob? Please come back, Kay. Yo, I don't wanna. I didn't see the last part. I didn't see what the last sentence said. Oh, yo, that was so freaking creepy. Oh my God, that was so creepy. I'm so sweaty. My hands are so sweaty. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting that. But I was expecting more, but it is a demo and I knew it was a demo going in. Now I just feel like Bob's gonna pop up to, at me randomly on my computer screen when I'm editing this video. And I don't think I'm mentally prepared for that. <laughs> That was so freaking creepy. This is a Black Mirror episode. I'm just gonna juice out of here. So uh, make sure to click the bell and see you in the next one. Get the redness, deuces, bye. I'm scared, I'm, just, I'm leaving, bye. <laughs>